Okay, Don, just a little bit of a nitpick, maybe call it more of an amplification of your point on polystrate fossils. Um, uh, you can have a so-called polystrate tree fossil passing through multiple layers of rock. Uh, unfortunately for creationists, the, the multiple layers of rock do not represent ge different geological time periods. Your characterization of the creation's position is, is right on. Uh, but on the other side of the equation, you can't have a polystrate tree passing through multiple layers, but you're just looking at layers that could represent annual seasonal flooding. Uh, maybe over, could be over a space of five years, ten years maybe. And, uh, and in that case, it's not a problem to have a tree persisting for that amount of time to be buried and we find trees in that kind of condition buried in the ground today so you know we can look at the evidence of current things and extrapolate to what we're seeing in, in the geologic record you come to any random cliff face and without looking at radiometric dating or comparative fossil contents you know multiple layers of rock and a cliff face could be just a matter of a few years separated from each other uh, rather than representing different geological time periods it's creations have this character in their head if there's more than one layer it must represent more than one geological time period and that's just bullcrap uh, I don't know of any documented case where you have a tree passing through multiple layers of rock where the different layers represent different geological time periods that's just a creationist fantasy so, just like I said, just expanding on your point. Other than that, take it easy.